ALS is a progressive neurodegenerative disease. It affects about 50,000 people across the United States. So it is relatively rare, but it's common enough that we will see it in any major metropolitan area. What happens in ALS is there is a gradual loss of motor function. So somebody with ALS will still be very aware of who they are, what they are, they can interact with the family, but they gradually lose their strength. They lose their ability to walk, they may lose their ability to use their hands, and importantly, in a high percentage, they will, as, they, as the disease worsens, they will lose their ability to talk and lose their ability to swallow and breathe. As a disease, it can vary in its progression. Um, some patients will have a two to five year life expectancy. That's what you'll see if you look in, if you look up uh, in the literature, but there, there's a subset of patients that can go on for years, for five, 10, 15 years. One thing that has been very clear in the research is when you get involved in a multidisciplinary clinic, not only does your length of life, but your quality of life can improve. We have a very patient-centered program where when patients come in, not only will they see the clinician, myself or one of our other neuromuscular specialists, but they will also see the physical therapist, the occupational therapist, the speech and language pathologist, the neuropsychologist, if that's needed. We have a very multidisciplinary approach to treating uh, patients with neurodegenerative diseases, and in this case, ALS, but it is a very comprehensive approach, developing a program that's going to be the best for that particular patient.